The next set of value exercises are to do the 10 step divisions for each of the pencils. Uh, we will start with uh, the 2H, go to the HB and the 2B. Because you have 10 steps, especially with the 2H, you're going to find that just like when you did the three-step version, you're not going to be able to get to 100%. My suggestion is to do exactly what you did with the three-step version, is first of all, apply to all 10 steps, apply a 10% application of value, and then work from the darkest end and create your darkest dark first. That way you know where in between what this 50% value is going to have to be and then you can divide that up and find out where the next value is and again where the next darkest value is so that you can transition these fairly evenly and they will look like the correct uh, step relationship of one to another. So I'm going to start with the 2H pencil and I am going to apply value to this entire strip first. The whole point is that you do not want to see pencil strokes. You want this to be nice and even as you are working. This takes quite some time to do. Again, I want to re-emphasize that you need to spend time with this every day. Don't leave it until the last minute. You'll never get it done. And it becomes very obvious uh, if you are rushing, it'll show up in the uh, execution. As you can see, I'm not stopping at the edge of a uh, shape division. I am just going right over that because this is all a 10% value. first layer is just about wrapped up. So now I'm going to look at it and see where I might have to touch things up. I'm going to take my kneaded eraser and I see I have a couple of little dark spots. So I'm going to lift some of that out just by slightly gently dabbing it. The graphite will pick up. And I'm going to do that same thing over here in this corner to even out this value a little bit more. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to do multiple layers for this because this is going to be 100% here. And uh, I'm going to try and match my 2H value that I have in the 10, 50, 100 exercise. And then we'll divide this up and figure out how to get this step transition, this 10 step transition. I am going to turn the page so that I work in a slightly different direction. And the reason that I'm doing this in a diff slightly different direction, by changing the direction of the paper, you're also changing the direction of your pencil stroke to cover areas that might have not gone down as evenly as it might have. Now I'm going to turn the board again so I can get the pencil tip close to that dividing edge. All right, so we have our second step, and I'm going to continue this until I get to 
the, uh, the darkest dark I can get with a 2H pencil. And this looks pretty close, so let's see where we are. That's 80%. And that is still a little light, so one more layer and we should get it up to matching this value in the uh, shorter exercise. So now we know that this is correct. This is 10%. This is going to be our 100%. But because it's only 80% on our actual scale, we need to decide where our 50% is, and we should be able to match that. So in between these two here, we're going to go with, um, I would say, let's go 40 on this side, and then go lighter on this side. So we're going to match that 50 to about here. So again, we're going to put layers down, just the way we did for the 100% until we reach a value that matches the 50% on the exercise above. Okay, so we have pretty much our halfway point here. It may have to go darker. We have three squares in here that need to be filled in. So we know that this square here is halfway between 40 and 80, and we're going to aim for the 60% in this square here, and then we'll know how dark or light to meet these other two that are next to it. So I have filled in a few more boxes, but I'm going to wait and I'm going to do these lighter panels next. Here's our 10, here's our 50, and our 50 is really our 40, so really our 30%. So this is the value I want to get next. I'm going to have to work quite light, and that means that this panel here is going to have to be lighter than this, but darker than that. So I think that's where I'm going to make the modulation, and if need be, I may have to lighten up at this end, but we'll see. You know, you're going to have to play with things a little bit in order to, to see the steps. Okay, so there's a 30% value. It might need a little bit of touching up here on the edges. So now I'm going to put another layer on the 20%, and that should be slightly different from this, so that you get a difference between the two that are on either side of it. You only need really one layer beyond what's already there. All right, so we're done. So these two are pretty close. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lighten the 10%. But the way that you want to do this is you take your kneaded eraser and you get it kind of soft so it's very pliable. And then you want to flatten it out so that one side is very flat, like so. And then putting a guide so you don't touch the 20%, then you take that flat area and you just touch it once. So that you see a distinction between the 10, the 20, and the 30. So now we've got to get something between 30 and uh, 50 here, and that will be my next uh, step. This band is just about finished, but there are a few issues that we need to deal with. For instance, this, this block seems lighter than this, seems lighter than this, and yet this, this probably we may have to go dark on, if that's at all possible, but these three have to be more distinguished. The others seem to step quite nicely. What needs to be done here is that this box needs to be made darker, this needs to be made darker, and yet we've got to get a step distinguishing each of these so that there's some separation. I'm going to start darkening this box, and then this box. Uh, I may have to lighten this box, but first I'm going to do this one and see how close it comes to the 100%. And if need be, I might have to put another layer of graphite on the 100%.
I've added a little bit more value to this uh, step right here and it seems to contrast just subtly between the 100% and the 90. I think the 80 is working quite well. This one is a little too dark for these three. And then the one I'm going to lighten up is the 70. So I want to put something on this side of it. And I'll use my guide here. Hold it in place and just gently lift some of that graphite out. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more back in. And that should give me my separation. I think that I am going to darken these three a little bit more uh, overall and let's see what happens when that uh, is achieved. This is your 10th step for 2H and as I say the 10th step 2H will be the most difficult to do because there's such, there's such close relationships but work slowly and build the, the uh, values um, I definitely think you should do the 10% all the way across, do your 100%, and then, you know, do some of these in the middle uh, that are similar to what's there, and then work in both directions, and you'll, you might find you'll have to go a little darker in some of these areas. It's going to be a kind of a balancing act to, uh, to get these things to work uh, the way that uh, they should, where you, you, you get nice step transitions between the uh, panels. So the HB and the 2B, the 2B will be the hardest to, to do in the light areas because it's so responsive to the paper, um, but you'll have a lot more flexibility in the dark areas with the 2B. And uh, you should be able to get a good range with the HB. Uh, without too much difficulty.